Hi friends, uh, welcome back. Today in this session, uh, we will discuss about standard deviation, range, variance and coefficient of variance. And next session would be on the data collection plan. To understand this, let's take a simple example. Uh, in a sports, it is any sports it can be. In a sports, it is found that teams with having players height of 66 inches always performs better for the given data set which team is likely to perform better. So suppose you have been given a data set of this uh, uh, two teams, team 1 and team 2 and now you have to assess which team is likely to uh, perform better in the sports. Uh, so let's, let's take since it is given 66 inches, let's try to take the mean of this. So you take average of this and as I told you in the last session to find out the measure of central tendency which is 66 and for the other also it is 66. So now if you see here both teams have an average height of 66 inches for all the players. So, so th in this sort of situation we have to use some other measure to find out which team will uh, perform or may perform better, right? Just to understand uh, uh, the measures of central tendency and uh, measures of dispersion, uh, let me just take you through the basic difference between uh, both the two. So when we are talking about measures of central tendency, we are talking about, suppose you have a data set suppose you have a data set and the observations are like this right and suppose you have the team player or members like this one is here one is here one is here suppose one two and right and measures of central tendency what we are trying to find out is the central point right the average of all this now measures of dispersion means how these are spread right this data the difference between this data and the average right this difference this difference right this one this difference and this difference what is the average of this differences that we know as variance variance is uh, the square of it when we use square root we call it standard deviation right so what is the spread of it what is the sp spread of your data right so suppose for for example the last example i had given you at uh, the food meal uh, average of the food meals uh, in that case we were looking at if we are looking at variance and standard deviation would mean that what is the so the average was 105 or something if i remember correctly or it may be something uh, something else so if the average was mu which is mean if the average was 105 how much deviation each of the food meal bills were from 105 so if if the food uh, one of the food bill was uh, uh, suppose 205 then it is 100 units away from the mean right suppose something was 30 then it was uh, about uh, 75 units here it is minus 75 units away from the mean right so that's how uh, uh, dispersion works that is what dispersion means how spread is your data range means this is the easiest measures of dispersion means highest point minus lowest point right so let's let's try to understand it uh, with the example uh, i have taken so now here if you see uh, if we 
So let me do it manually first, then we will get into Minitab to calculate all this for your understanding. What is, what is the average here? Average we have already calculated 66. Now what is the distance from mean? Distance of each player from required 66 inch right that's what we need right so this so 61 let's do it for one team team 1 61 minus 66 so this is minus 5 similarly uh, we can uh, freeze d14 Right. We can freeze D14 and uh, drag it to get all the data. Now if you see this is the distance of all the player in terms of inch from the required one. Right Now since these are negative values, if we sum it total, this one it would be 0. It is always 0. right? So we have to square this, square distance. Square distance would be what? So this equal to this uh, 2, right? So this is 25. So now if you see, we are getting all positive numbers, right? If you sum it up, total is 270 is the total sum, right? Square distance. And now, now if we, if we, how do we calculate variance? So to, to calculate variance, we have 11 number of samples. So to calculate variance, let's take here, variance equal to 270 divided by 11. This again, uh, it depends on the sample. So if we are taking a sample, we have to take n minus 1 as uh, the sample size here. Just for understanding, I am using uh, the entire uh, number m, n. Just for understanding, I am using n as 11, right? So sample variance would be n minus 1, which is 10. Right. So, variance is 24.5 and standard deviation, standard deviation would be square root of it. So, this uh, equal to square root of 24.5 which is 4.95, right. So, that is the square distance, that is the standard deviation right for team 1 right next let's do it for so just for uh, your understanding let me do it here standard uh, deviation of population and here I am saying team 1 so this is as per excel and see 4.954. So, we are getting the correct result. Right. Okay. So, now we have standard deviation, we have variance for team 1, right. The average already we have seen that it is 66. Now, let us do it for uh, team 2, right. I am using variance uh, formula here now directly Excel, so that uh, since you have already understood it. So it is 44 and standard deviation is 6 point right so now if you see the standard deviation of team 1 means each and the average distance of each player in team 1 from 6 to 6 is 4.95 inch and team 2 Standard deviation is 6.67. That means each player in team 
2 is 6.67 inch away from the average right now there is something else also called coefficient co coefficient of variation right how do we calculate it we divide the standard deviation with the mean right so you get a percentage Uh, this has to be right. So you get a percentage here. So if if you see the coefficient also coefficient of variance also will tell you on an average how far is uh, is each player from the average or each data point from the average. So here you can clearly see that team one is though the average the mean is same. Team 1 has a lower standard deviation and thereby the lower coefficient of variation and this is the better team to have. So this team is most likely to score better than team 2, right. So now range, right. Now to understand, range is very simple, uh, the highest point minus lowest point, so highest point is 73 here. Uh, and the lowest point is you can see 58 here. So 73 minus 58, uh, that's the range. So let's calculate. Uh, okay, so I'll do it manually. This is equal to 73 minus 58, which is 15. Here the highest is 72 minus the lowest is uh, 51 so 21 so in both case you can clearly see that the variance standard deviation coefficient of variance and range everything these are the measures of dispersion which is better for team one so team one is most likely to perform better in the sports right hope hope you have understand the measures of uh, dispersion and measures of central tendency and next session we will have on the data collection plan thanks a lot